So I was interested in robotics from a very, very early age. Everyone asks you what you want to be when you grow up. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to build a bionic woman. The Bionic Woman was a story about this young lady who was in a car accident, and they built her back up with bionic parts. That evolved into, I need to be an engineer that could program robots. My research, what I'm interested in, is how do we have a robot function as a coach for children who have motor disabilities? Children with cerebral palsy, with autism, that might have fine motor limitations. So my robots, they're typically humanoid in nature with two arms, two legs. They dance, they move, and what they try to get kids to do is mimic their motions so that they can do the therapy correctly in the home, in the clinic, in the school setting. The robot is a little clunky, it's a little awkward, and so as a child, when you are accomplishing a goal, you're doing it better than a robot. And everyone knows robots are smart. When children are interacting with robots, they are the ones that are in the power position. We've been able to show in our studies that they've improved in their motor skills. They've improved in terms of their range of motion. They've improved in terms of how fast they're moving. When you're designing stuff and you're building a new robot, you're not really building a robot for yourself. The fact is, is that everyone in the world does not have the same acuity in terms of eyesight or perception that you do as a designer. And so when I think about my technology, even today, I think about how do I ensure that my technology works for the most people possible. I used to just work with ages 5 to about 11, 12. Recently, over the last few years, I started working with infants. How do you design a therapy robot, a rehab robot, to get an infant to exercise? Well, there's one thing that is common to most infants, and it's called a mobile. If I add in a computer, it already has movement. I can add in the language of sound. Basically, I'm programming it to dance. Preemies and infants, they kick. Mobile is designed so that it can form their kicking pattern. If they're not kicking fast enough, we can change the sound and the movement, or we can get them to like go in cadence because infants actually understand rhythm. It required my team to think differently because all the things we thought about in terms of communication do not necessarily apply when you're dealing with preemies infants. I truly believe that robots will improve our lives. In fact, they are already improving our lives. So one of the things as a roboticist, you realize that what you're doing is bringing value to the world. It means that as a roboticist, you are a superhero. You are saving things and you are saving our society so that it is better.